Alright, so, I'll be reviewing this micro cube, right here. This cube is a fully functional micro cube. As you can see, that it's fully functional. When I first got it, about a week ago, it was very stiff. It was not very, very stiff, but it was a bit stiff. But it was still turnable, but it was not that easy to turn. Like it is now. Um, what I did was I took it apart, um, cleaned it, and properly lubed it. Um, so, now that I took apart the mechanism, I mean, took apart an edge, I'll show you what, how it looks like. What pieces look like. So, here's what an edge looks like. Looks like a standard edge. And it's a bit hollow on the inside. Here's a corner, which is a standard Rubik's style mechanism, which is hollow, and I thought it would be, um, the pieces would be, um, completely solid, but it's not. And on the inside there, it has a transparent core. Yeah. And this puzzle, um, I found at a flea market. Um, and at one booth that I bought along with a few other puzzles that would be the Missing Link Puzzle and this 1980s cube right here. And as I'm seeing it, showing you right now, the size different. Yeah, it's definitely 127 the size of a normal cube. And the, and I don't know how old this is, but really, it has the current standard color scheme. Like, it has the standard color scheme that we all know of, um, up to, to this day. That is this color scheme. Yeah. Yeah, it's this color scheme. Exactly accurate color scheme. Yeah. Um. Yeah, 19 millimeters in size. Um. For a while, this, the keychain, 30 millimeter keychain cube, was my smallest cube. And now, just comparing it inside, it's just smaller. And the keychain can feel a bit bigger and feels a bit different after I've been playing with this. And, um, the red center sticker, um, was missing, so I had to make my own. And that orange sticker was missing, so I, again, had to make my own, and so that's why these, that orange edge is different from the shades of the rest of the orange one. And I'm gonna show you exactly how big it is. Um, So you can actually see how big it is. Yeah, it's about this big. That, like, 19 millimeters inside. So, yeah. 
and I'm not sure if I would recommend this to people because one um it's really hard to find a 19 millimeter cube except for the 3D printed one that you find on Safeways because 19 millimeter is really hard to come by because not many companies have ever made a 19 millimeter 3x3 and I'm currently working on um, making a transparent um, case for it and see right here cutting it out squares and stuff like that this is from an old CD case um, cover because literally I have like a bunch of CD cases that I can use and so this is my review of the 19 millimeter cube I also forgot to mention corner cutting and like this no reverse corner cutting at all yeah yeah it's fully functional and it works really well but on this corner if you can see there's this hole it looks like that it was originally a on like some sort of keychain or some sort of chain like this so that you can have a necklace or on your key ring or whatever but really I did my research and I found a few old 19 millimeter cubes that came out many years ago but I'm still unsure about what brand this one is 